Welcome to Optometry Talk. In this video, we will be discussing on fitting of RGB contact lens known as the rigid case permeable contact lens which is an ophthalmic medical device made up of durable plastic that can help you to correct moderate to high refractive error. Now, initially for assessing contact lens fitting, history is the most important factors which may include dry eye, red eye, watering eye or any personal history. We do vision assessment for both distance and near with or without previous last prescription and pinhole vision assessment for differentiating from any other ocular pathology. Refraction is the most important factor for determining the refractive error of the patients. We do refractions on two steps that is the objective refractions and the subjective refractions. Objective refractions with the help of a retinoscopy and the subjective refractions is the procedure for determining the lens acceptance by trial lens processing. Slit lamp examination is the procedure for finding any abnormality in the ocular adnexa and anterior segment of the eye. Dry eye assessment on the slit lamp is important for choosing suitable contact lens for the patients. Before proceeding towards the parameter selections and trialing of the RGB contact lenses, patients counseling is very important for selections. Patients who are highly motivated Having moderate to high prescription, astigmatic patients are generally selected. Record parameters Measuring horizontal visible iris diameters, that is the HVID, with the help of a transparent millimeter scale, both in the photophic and the scotophic conditions, taking the average value and subtracting the HVID value by 2 to get the total lens diameter. Even palpable feature height can be taken for selecting lens diameter with the help of a transparent millimeter scale. Keratometry Keratometry is done to get the radius of curvature of cornea that is K reading which is required for calculating the base curve of the contact lens. Prerequested Patient must be trained to maintain hygiene of hand before insertion and removal of contact lens. Before insertions of the contact lens, contact lens is cleaned by rinsing 10 times clockwise and anticlockwise for both anterior and posterior surface of the lens with the recommended solution by the practitioner. Insertion of RGB contact lens Ask the patient to look straight. Restrain the patient's upper eyelid with your left thumb and place lens on the four fingers of right hand. Move the lens closer to the cornea and retract inferiorly the lower lid with the middle fingers of your right hand. Turn the lens to the center of the cornea, then gently release the lid. Ask the patient to look gently down with eye closed and sit for 15 minutes. After insertion of RGB contact lens, we do dynamic fitting to look for the centration, position, stability and move. In dynamic fitting, we can get three types of probable fittings. In case of RGB contact lens, which can be flat fitting, stiff fitting, and idle fitting. In case of flat fitting, the dynamic flat fitting shows more movement due to the loose fitting, unstable, and decentered inferiorly. In case of stiff fitting, we can get almost no movement of the contact lens, which is stable, centered. In ideal fitting, we can get educate movements with stability and centered of the contact lens. Then we go for static fitting of contact lens using fluorescent dye to look for the pulling and the touch effect on the contact lens. We can get three types of probable fitting that is the flat fitting. In flat fitting, we can see pulling at the mid periphery and the peripheral regions and touch at the center of the contact lens. Stiff fitting, pulling at the center of the contact lens and touch at the mid periphery and the periphery. Idle fitting. In ideal fitting, we can see central pulling with mid-periphery touch and thin band of edge clearance. 
After finalizing the idle field of the RGB contact lens, we do our refractions both for the objective and the subjective refractions to finalize the final power of the contact lens. Removal of the contact lens. Place the four fingers of each hand on the upper and lower lid of the patient. If necessary, move the eyelid slightly upper in order to position the lid margin at the lens edges. Gently press the lid margin towards each other and then lens is scraped and removed by the practitioner. Thank you. Make sure your patient gets follow up for the contact lens. And our team members are Kumar Magar, Madhuja Tapantamuli, Deepika Bora, Tiksita Soitya, and Guru Goswami.